Hello, church family and friends. Welcome to day 26 of Praying with Jesus, 40 Days Toward Church Revitalization. Today, we're going to be looking in the book of Matthew, chapter 10. Matthew, chapter 10. Stephen T. Um and Justin Buzzard, in their book, Why Cities Matter to God, the Culture, and the Church, remind us about the staggering importance of revitalizing all churches, but particularly those in the ever-expanding urban areas of our country and world. They write, The future of our world will be profoundly influenced by what happens in the city. The world is in the throes of a sweeping population shift from the countryside to the city. The global urban population is growing by 65 million annually, equivalent to adding seven new Chicagos a year. Yet, in the second half of the 20th century in America, many churches left or died in the city. The place where our church is located is part of God's unique and masterful plan to impact the world with the good news of Jesus Christ. It is of high strategic importance that our church continue to impact our neighborhood, region, and world. Now, pause the tape here and read Matthew 10, 1 through 23. Matthew chapter 10, verses 1 through 23. There are a couple of things that the book asks us to reflect on out of those verses. First, it asks, who is in charge of the disciples? It calls for at least five specific instructions that he gives. Of course, we know that Jesus is in charge of his followers. And he gives instructions that are constantly about advancing the kingdom, that are about growing them in spiritual maturity, and that are about uh, teaching them more how to serve and act as he does. Then it book asks this question. Who is in charge of the revitalization effort within our church community? Now, if you respond with, well, the pastor is, I want to challenge you that you're, you're not thinking biblically. I am not in charge of the revitalization effort here at Central Baptist Church. Jesus is in charge of the revitalization effort here at Central. I simply choose to lead, to follow him and lead others as he's called me to do as the shepherd of his flock. Then we have the question, are we, all of us, willing to do whatever he, King Jesus, asks us to do? Are we willing to do and follow in obedience our Lord and Savior, the leader of this church? Let's pray together. Jesus, I am so grateful that it is not my responsibility to revitalize our church. Thank you that you are more than able to handle this responsibility. I also know you will appoint others to lead various parts of the revitalizing work. Give me and our church family grace to follow their lead without grumbling or complaining. Grant us eager hearts to obey Jesus and follow those He appoints to lead us, no matter how greatly we are challenged by the task. I look to you and to your provision of gracious patience and humility through the process. In your name I pray. Amen.